Hello guys, I have decided to record this urgent update because of mass shootings in Moscow, 40 people killed, 100 and more wounded. And I'm very much afraid that tomorrow morning Kremlin criminals will say this is Ukraine when it is obvious it is Putin. It is his tactics that he used not once, you can Google and check that, in St. Petersburg, in Moscow, in Beslan, for example, before the start of the Second Chechen War. This is the way he likes to mobilize his population for another wave of brutal violence. And this is the way he actually congratulates them with the next term, six years of dictatorship. What is more important, on the 7th of March, US Embassy in Moscow warned something similar is going to happen. They advised people to avoid visiting concerts because it was likely FSB agents are preparing something. And today we witness what exactly they were preparing. Let me tell you more about this awful techniques that Russia is using to spread hatred and mobilize its population against the democratic world. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. I am sad to read the news from this concert hall in Moscow. I am not an orc and I don't like to learn that people were killed because of such brutal actions. And sometimes I feel very disappointed with this world when so many crimes are committed daily without any reason for them, any particular reasons. Even not economic, even not like personal, it's just like hatred that is spread and multiplied. 40 people killed, 100 and more wounded in a concert hall near Moscow before the concert of a group picnic or something like that. And uh, it was definitely organized by FSB agents and by Putin. I am 100 convinced, same as I'm convinced they killed Navalny. It's pretty obvious. They destroyed Kahovka Dam. They targeted today Dnipro Hydroelectro Station Dam with eight missiles, potentially wanting to cause a huge ecological and personal tragedy. And this, they did the same to their population. This is a typical tactic that Putin used not once. He has special services and people who help him organize that. It explains many of his illogical, irrational actions to the population, and he needs to mobilize their spirit. Moreover, international intelligence services of Britain, of the United States, warned about something similar coming, and here we witness that. And once again, Putin and his gang remind the world they have to be stopped, they are top criminals. It is really difficult to record videos like that because I have to avoid all the words that YouTube is so sensitive to and sometimes I feel like in the Big Brother movie when you live in this awful reality but you have to work on your vocabulary to be uh, good for uh, like being allowed to speak. And it's important to bring this news to people. That's why once again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, demonstrate your solidarity with the world and help us fight against Putin. Uh, many times in Russian, modern Russian history, there were uh, similar cases on the territory of Russia with explosions, with hostages, with uh, shootings. And uh, in most cases, they could not find who was the reason for all that because it was a planned, politically planned, um, action organized with the support of FSB agents and other special services inside Russia for the sake of explanation of some Russian actions or mobilization of population. And once again, Putin even started his career with such targets and the Second Chechen War. And it is very, very, very likely that he wants to escalate his violence against Ukraine, he needs another wave of mobilization and his population does not support him very much. And he needs that. What is also awful that all the intelligence services, including the US Embassy in um, Moscow, warned us about that. But there will be people doubting, there will be people speaking about that, there will be people thinking that maybe this is Ukraine, maybe this is freedom of Russia legion when it's obvious. 
it is Putin. Guys, as a Ukrainian in the middle of this night, and I had like two hours without electricity today because of this huge missile attack, we return back to the practice of organized blackouts because we need to back up Ukrainian electric system. And being like this Ukrainian in these really awful times, I tell you, do not look for other enemies. We do have him in the Kremlin. We don't need to look for others. It's very obvious who is causing all these tragedies, all these troubles to the world. And we have to unite and stand strong and finish him and those who support him as soon as possible. This is the only way to get out of this madness. And as a Ukrainian, once again, I'm not an orc. I do not celebrate death of these people. I feel sorry for such tragedies happening. Also, I feel weird uh, when the White House very quickly, for example, in the US, issues a notice about the regrets and sympathies of the people who died in the result of this Putin's organized act. And like no reaction, like similar, I mean, sympathy on the deaths of lots of innocent Ukrainian civilians who, for example, traveled in a trolley bus to their workplace when orcs targeted the dam, the Dnipro dam. Don't get used. It's not normal for us to die daily because of missiles and Shahed drones. It's not normal. I'm like an ordinary person just like you. And a year, a, a war ago, a war ago, I lived normal life and I could not imagine I will hide during air raid alerts. I will know bomb shelters in my country and I will not be able to plan like my summer vacation, for example, because I don't know, will I manage to live until then? It's not okay. So guys, please don't get used to this in Ukraine. Don't get used to that in the world. And don't you ever let this politicians deceive you that by turning a blind eye you can stop it no it's just like with curing cancer you cannot take a passive position you do have to go through various medical treatments to be able to survive now kremlin russia putin is the cancer of the world and we cannot choose the stance observing watching we have to be very active in our fight against it so please, no, it is not Ukraine. We do not want to kill any people. All we want is our 1991 borders and a possibility to live our life according to our values. And I guarantee you that our values are good. It's freedom, it's diversity, it's the desire to learn from you, to tell you more about us, and just live our life, eat, travel, love, that's it. Thank you once again for your support. Remember to join me tomorrow or according to Ukrainian time today for our live 9 p.m. cave time this Saturday. Prepare your questions. I'm always happy to feel our community. Also subscribe to me on Instagram, X and Threads and our Discord community is beautiful. Check our merch shop. All the links that you need are below this video. But most importantly, we have to remain united. These are difficult times, but it is very important to be strong and decisive. Slava Ukraini!